Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak about the best special unit in the game which are Celestials. As everybody already knows, Ce Celestials are special unit of the League of Order. It's a mage uh, troops, mage legion. And of course, if you ask me, there is totally different playstyle between uh, normal mages and Celestials. And normal mages are called Westals, right? The first and big difference between Westals and Celestials are the that uh, Celestials has way more uh, magic attack damage rather than uh, Westals and even the perk like for example Westals is giving you HP bonus to friendly legions and for Celestials you are getting magic attack increase which is way way better right in terms of range both of the troops are magic units which means uh, they will have a highest range if we're gonna compare it to the other troop types so that's already a big advantage and also of course uh, celestials can fly over any river any mountains around the map so it will be uh, way useful in terms of fighting rather than having Westals, right? Of course, even hero pairs are different between Celestials gameplay and Westals gameplay, and that will be the next topic we are going to speak, right? Uh, for the Celestials hero pairs, there is a couple of play styles, and I will try my best to explain almost every single one of them, so you guys will understand what kind of benefits and advantages you are going to have with different kind of hero pairs for Celestials. First of all, I'm going to speak about the most overall one in terms of defense and offense. Uh, both of the factors they have pretty good. And that's a Bertrand and Thea, right? Uh, Bertrand is the new magic hero, so new West magic hero. Uh, and uh, Thea is, of course, like one of the main uh, legendary heroes for uh, Celestials in general. Uh, Bertrand and Thea, the main idea behind this hero pair is that uh, Thea will give a lot of buffs, a lot of important buffs for Celestial's gameplay. Um, Thea will give us ability to stay alive longer around the battlefield, for example. And of course, hero scale damage increase is great for Bertrand, right? And in terms of Bertrand, what kind of hero pair it will be? It won't gonna deal a huge amount of damage. It won't gonna deal big amount of dps but it will be averagely good in terms of offensive gameplay it will be good for uh, defensive gameplay you are not going to die super fast and of course uh, there is not a big um, as like you don't have to awaken Bertrand in general so you will be able to get uh, high numbers with, with playing this guy right like you know in order for you to awaken Bertrand you and whenever you're gonna awaken Bertrand you are just getting 200 more uh, magic damage factor which is not that uh, important and even like 5111 Bertrand and Thea can be totally fine playing as Celestials and also, also uh, Bertrand can be gettable from the lucky spins and have almost every single uh, free to play player can build Bertrand and Thea and play with Celestials. Uh, you will be totally fine. You will be dealing a lot of damage. And of course, the golden mark, which is the main idea behind Bertrand, uh, you will have enough time to stack um, uh, the golden marks while you are going to have a supports and supportive gameplay and survivability from the Thea whenever you are fighting. Uh, so, we understood uh, regarding the Bertrand and Thea what kind of advantages you are going to have uh, with this hero pair uh, in terms of artifact for this uh, hero pair i think you are going to love my resorb uh, my resorb is a great offensive artifact especially for bertrand and while thea is giving us a lot of defensive stats and survivability it will be important for us to understand that artifact for this hero pair should be more assault type so you will have high damage and high uh, like attack stats from your artifact which Mirage Orb ticks all the boxes a magic unit attack legion attack uh, great uh, offensive attributes and of course night of course nightmarish uh, revere uh, the skill of the Mirage Orb is actually pretty good uh, that's why I think Mirage Orb should be the number one choice whenever you are playing with uh, Bertrand and Thea with uh, Celestials in terms of Warped for this hero pair I think 
think Shadow Fear Drake should be the number one choice, and I think uh, Shadow Fear Drake is especially exclusively good for Bertrand hero pairs. And yeah, we are using Bertrand and Thea with Celestials, and this should be the idea behind the Warped, uh, which will be really, really successful uh, with the Bertrand, right? The secondary synergy behind, like, uh, if you want to count Shadow Hunter, of course, I will always advise to get at least one star on the main skill and then build the pet. And the follow-up synergy, generally I really like follow-up synergies um, on any magic hero pair. And of course I put it here and that's why uh, this is like how I will be building this, this Shadow Fair Drake in the future. Of course I'm missing the third the Shadow Hunter skill and third follow-up synergy skill, right? That's the first hero pair which you can actually play in terms of uh, um, Celestials with Bertrand and Thea. And now we can actually move on to the hero pair which has the highest damage with the Celestials. And that's Lilia with Thea. Uh, what actually Lilia and Thea does is that it has one of the highest DPS in whole Call of Dragons whenever you are fighting. Uh, the ability of... Uh, a scorch with the Thea's buffs and in general it's well known that Lilia is basically married farmer major hero especially during wars and what you want to do with the best uh, uh, PvP hero in the game you if, you if you will give a lot of buffs and a lot of survivability to the best PvP hero in the game she will be dealing even more damage she will be staying uh, alive even longer and it's the conclusion of the lot of merits right uh, of course if you want to have full uh, strengths of this hero pair you have to have Lilia awakened because of the uh, scorch uh, applying to two nearby legions that's the best uh, one of the best abilities which we have in terms of mage heroes the scorch ability which is getting just too much merits around, around the battlefield right uh, what uh, Lilia didn't have the before uh, Thea is the hero pair is the survivability and Thea is giving all of the tankiness and all, all of the time uh, to get as much merits uh, as possible while Lilia will be doing uh, the damage whenever you are fighting of course celestials are flying units and if you're gonna pair if you're gonna have Lilia and Thea as a celestials hero pair uh, you won't gonna be flying around the map you will be simply moving uh, but generally if you are playing this hero pair you don't care about movement you just care about going inside the battlefield and dealing as much damage is possible so this is like more uh, offensive type of uh, hero pair for celestials if you want to deal maximum amount of damage then you are going to have to have Lilia awakened and Thea um, like at least like 5441 or something like this and you will be dealing a lot of lot of damage getting tons of merits around the battlefield in terms of the artifact for this hero pair in my opinion uh, the best artifact is of course Infernal Flame uh, simply because it's the best artifact for the Lilia gameplay uh, and if you will ask why just scroll down uh, check additional effects and and you're gonna read your legion gains magic keen when the wilder inflicts scorch on enemies and lilia's main damage source is of course scorch magic keen is magic attack bonus up to 15 percent for five seconds and also the big uh, plus is that you can trigger this ability every 10 seconds uh, of course infernal flame and lilia is well known combination um, it, it would be really really easy to almost everybody to understand that this would be the best choice uh, for this Lilia um, uh, Thea um, hero pair and I don't think there is another artifact which will be better than Inferno Flame while while playing as Lilia and Thea with Celestials. Uh, for the Warpet I would be going for Sapphire Fair Drake in this case. Um, Sapphire Fair Drake and Shadow Fair Drake, Fair Drake is my opinion the best magic no <clears throat> warpets in the game and uh, we are using shadow fair drake because of the bertrand synergy and uh, sapphire fair drake is pretty good uh, with the uh, lilia and um, uh, thea hero pair also if you want to have additionally more survivability you will uh, run sand lizard but of course without chain strike synergy just because of this tone aura and how much health you are getting with the healing of this skill so that's like secondary choice of just being as tanky as possible while playing as with the best offensive mage unit in the game of course lilia and thea hero pair is more of a play to win a player's uh, hero pair because you have to uh, invest some funds in order to get lilia awakened <clears throat> 
and of course the infernal flame is not gettable from the normal universal keys and it should be the problem for free to play players uh, now it's turn to discuss the weakest but more of a free to play friendly hero pair for uh, celestials and that's of course uh, atheists with um, Thea, that's been like uh, season one uh, popular hero pair for Celestials, and that's why I have I, I said that it's more of a free to play friendly, uh, simply because you can actually awaken the Atheus really really easily. Um, you can have uh, Thea from the gold chest, so with gold keys. And the idea behind this hero pair is not that you are going to deal a lot of damage. You just will be survive. You, you just you're gonna just survive a lot of damage towards yourself. Uh, Atheus, uh, whatever, what Atheus is giving any heroes which is uh, he paired with is the accumulation of the rage, some buffs, which means that uh, like you are, you will be tanky enough because of the Atheus buffs, because because of the uh, Theus buffs, and you will be casting rage pretty much all the time. Uh, if you're gonna speak about offensive uh, damage and offensive gameplay, you are not going to do a lot of damage with this hero pair. Your main idea should be to uh, survive as much as possible and that's how you will get merits with this hero pair. Uh, of course we are mentioning this hero pair because it's the most free to play friendly uh, uh, if we're gonna compare the other two hero pairs which we just uh, spoke about and almost every single player can build this hero pair and you're gonna be playing with celestials and you are going to have fun uh, while playing them right. Uh, in terms of artifacts for atheists and um, Thea, uh, well, if we are speaking about free-to-play friendly, then let's speak about free-to-play artifacts, which will be fine with this hero pair, and I think Phoenix Eye will be the most free-to-play friendly artifact for Atheus and Thea, uh, and of course, uh, there is another way, uh, if you want to be more tanky uh, and tankier than with the Phoenix Eye, is of course uh, with the Visage of the Sanctus, that's the best artifact for Thea in general, but from here, you are just getting one uh, defensive attribute which is uh, unit defense and of course second one is legion attack in terms of lab uh, in terms of skill strike of the light uh, it gives you uh, like shield uh, three boon shields to selected friendly legion which you need to select by yourself and uh, there's the more of a defensive style of uh, a skill which you're gonna be adding with the Atheus and Thea, which is already pretty defensive, right? So, uh, depending on your gameplay, you can go with Phoenix Eye, you can go with Visage of the Sanctus, you can go with Breath of the Jag Jargantis, and you will be like more support style of gameplay rather than fighting and dealing damage. Uh, but that should be uh, the choices which you can uh, always make because there is like a lot of artifacts you can actually play with. And we should never forget about Tier of Arbon, even more defensive artifact, and I think you can even have the tier of Arbon with the Atheist and uh, Thea, because generally you are not going to deal too much damage, and if you are already supportive, let's give us some more supportive uh, gameplay so you will be helpful during the fights, right? Uh, in terms of Warpet, uh, well, uh, you have a couple of choices, Sapphire Frederick and Shadow Frederick is the choices, in my opinion, and uh, as I have mentioned, for Atheist and Thea since you are just too much defensive and Sapphire Fair Drake is all about offense let's just equip Sapphire Fair Drake with the Atheist and Sia and Thea and at least from the warpet you will get a lot of um, damage because like Pain Bloom is in general uh, offensive skill uh, which which main job is to just deal as much damage damage as possible because that's the only thing um, the Pain Bloom does right but of course uh, if you want to go with the Shadow Fair Drake that should be like also totally fine but I would be preferring you guys to run with uh, Sapphire Fair Drake because you will be lacking some uh, damage in terms of uh, overall damage of the hero pair right uh, in terms of talents let's say like you are running Bertrand and uh, you are running Thea of course you are going to run with the skill talent tree uh, because skill talent tree is the best talent tree you can have with the magic units uh, with the spirit of rage uh, with the thirst of the blood uh, there's the talent tree which is already important to have whenever you are playing with mages simply because your main source of damage is skill damage and with the skill talent you are increasing your scale damage 
uh, percentages which will be additionally good for the uh, merits which we will be getting with this hero pair uh, for the Lilia and Thea yet again um, you are going to have uh, Lilia as a primary and you will be having a skill talent tree with the Lilia also um, like we are lucky that we have a lot of magic heroes with the skill talent trees because that's the best one which I have already mentioned the tricky one is of course with Atheist and Thea uh, you will be running uh, with the magic uh, talent tree as a main and uh, maybe mobility as a secondary that should be the way of running at an Atheist and Thea and that's another reason why I think that Atheist and Thea as a hero pair is lacking some damage you are more of a defensive and uh, supportive style of gameplay uh, whenever you are playing with this hero pair so as always i have mentioned whenever i'm speaking about talents don't just copy and paste at first uh, read what the talents are giving you so you will match and mix uh, your gameplay by your talents because talents actually matter a lot uh, whenever you are fighting on the battlefield uh, so this is like all the hero pairs which is accessible for like uh, free to play player for pay to win player like which hero pair was uh, good in offensive defensive or maybe even both um, that's the main conclusion i think bertrand and thea has both um, lilia and um, thea only offensive and atheist and thea is like mainly uh, free to play friendly defensive gameplay right we spoke about almost every single detail about the hero pairs and celestials i really really hope this video will be helpful for you guys because i think the season of stripe uh, will be um, great for celestials and cavalry heroes in general I, that's my uh, future prediction and uh, it's important for you guys to prepare your celestials hero pairs because i'm pretty sure you guys will be using those uh, pretty frequently in the season of stripe uh, as always if you like the video press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make uh, more content for this amazing game um, I wish everybody amazing day, morning or night, wherever you are, we are going to see each other very very soon. Bye bye and good luck.